The Interfaith Leadership Award is an award that is given to people and organizations that are contributing mightily to the idea of affirming the dignity of all people, to service, to caring, to thinking big about our community. We chose the theme of Inextricably Bound Together in order to show how important it is uh, that we don't think of ourselves as humans as an island unto ourselves. That in fact we don't function unless we are functioning in a web and a network of community and of other people. I was thinking you have housing, health, you've got food and jobs, safety, education to get where you're going. You know I think they all reflect the, you know, the inextricably bound sense of our community. These are all things that are required for everyone, especially with the clientele that is served by Interfaith Works, whether it's the frail elderly or refugees to the community or you know, the tremendous work they do with the dialogue circles. You know, all of these organizations contribute one way or another to that. The Christopher community's mission is to provide decent, safe, affordable housing for seniors and families throughout upstate New York. How do we want our seniors to live? How will we be judged as a community and as a country in years to come when, we, when people look back and say, how do you take care of the seniors in your community, the people, the wisdom keepers of your community? How did you care for them? The mission for Krause Health is to provide the best in patient care and promote community health. So it is in our DNA to be involved in the community. Wegmans recognizes the importance of doing everything we can to support our community. One of our company priorities is to make a difference in every community that we serve. And we actually take that very seriously. It's funny and it's cute, but actually I think the message of the duck race, eliminating racism, is obviously something that Wegmans feels strongly about. And we try to make sure that we are a company that's viewed as supporting efforts like that. With TOPS, our slogan is Neighbors Helping Neighbors, and our mission is to help eradicate hunger and improve the quality of life for children. We have a passion for food and people, and we don't exist without our customers. So it's important for us to understand the needs of the customers, not just their food needs, but the needs of what's important to them in the community. Catholic Charities of Onondaga County. We are inextricably bound uh, to the people that we serve the homeless, the refugee, uh, parents who are struggling to take care of their children, children who are living in poverty, the frail elderly, we are bound to them. It's a journey that we travel together with them and with other organizations like Interfaith Works. Law enforcement cannot do its job without the community. The community, uh, unfortunately in this day and age, cannot have the, the measure of quality of life that they pursue without law enforcement out there intervening on their behalf. And so with that said, uh, we are bound to one another. In the Syracuse City School District, we want our students to feel successful, to experience success in school so they can be successful later on in life and in this community. We want to make sure that we're training our kids to go to college or if they wanted to join the workforce, that there are job opportunities for them in our community. We are building programs, providing opportunities, working with the colleges, working with businesses, working together to provide those enrichment, those educational experiences that our kids need to be successful. So we're working together to make sure that we are doing everything that we can to support our students is central. We're bound to the community in, in a lot of different ways and it's the most basic way that we're the proudest of and that is that we give individuals the opportunity to get to purchase food, to get to see the doctor, to get to, to employment. If you'd envision a bus being a needle driving through the community threading together that social fabric, that is something that we do for so many people from so many different walks of life for, for so many reasons. So. That is a very basic need that any strong community has, and that's a need that we fulfill, and that's something that we're very proud of, and that I'm very proud of our employees for. Mm -hmm. 
it's very gratifying uh, to, to be the recipient uh, of this sort of an award. There's unity in people working towards the common goal of others. And this award means so much to us because we work together to make this happen. We are creating homes, not houses, and that's what it's all about. It means having a great partnership, working together, having the same goal for our community. It does make us understand and recognize that people do see the things that we're doing. We live in a, in a world where everybody notices if something goes wrong and nobody ever notices when work is being done well. And I think for us, we really appreciate being noticed. <laughs> My mother's always told me that people don't have to be nice, they don't have to be kind, and they don't even have to say thank you. And they don't. But when people do it, um, it just reaffirms to us that we're in the right place at the right time for the right reasons and doing the right thing. And, and, it's, and it's always uh, refreshing and some might say even therapeutic when someone stopped to take the time to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Thank you for giving us this award and thank you for honoring us today. Every single organization is a part of that overall network that's required to, you know, to serve the people of this community. The fact that it's being given to a broad array of interconnected organizations is really emblematic of where we need to go as a community. We believe that empathy and dialogue is more important now than ever and we have such great respect for Interfaith Works and for the community partners who have really had great insight in linking arms really to create the kind of community that our vulnerable populations need.